I'll never catch him while I'm this small. Why, curious butterflies. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, hmm? Hey, guys. Um, <laughs> well, welcome back. Um, to a really unusual video. I look like a mess. I don't really care, but um, I'm in for finals and I have to learn. I mean, I learned so many things, but I still have so many things to do. And tomorrow is the finals, and after tomorrow as well. So that's fun, I guess. Um, finally, I will be over it, so that's that's fun. Like that's what I'm the most excited about. But whatever. Back to the video. So this video I decided that I'm going to do a mental health update video because some of you guys know, some of you don't. I have three disorders and I've been talking about these things but this is just like the, you know, the update, like how I'm feeling now basically. That's what the update is about. Anyway, oh yeah, let's do it. Um, so, okay, um, so I'm going to be talking about anxiety, bipolar disorder, and eating disorder. So if you're triggered about these things, then maybe just don't watch this video and click out of this video and just you know like like watch my other ones or like watch my next one. It'll be really appreciated. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So basically, first I'm going to talk about anxiety because that's like more light one basically. Um, so my anxiety got so much better i'm so freaking excited about it so basically i have a social anxiety so basically it means that i worry about what other people think of me whenever i go somewhere whenever i walk somewhere i just kind of act awkward around people and um and then i'm just overthinking it or whatever and i i'm always like contemplating complaining um when i have to go with uh, with the dog alone or when I have to go to the shop alone and I had a panic attack recently no it was recently, it was like two months ago when my friend didn't want to go with me to for like shopping to buy literally these jeans but I have that one and I was literally I had the panic attack and she did go with me so um, I was really like kind of thankful about it that you know she meant it, she meant, but like, with like, you know, me, me panicking, <laughs> but yeah, so that's what it is, and recently I've just been going out with the dog, even when, um, you know, my mom was supposed to, I was like, no mom, I will go with the dog, and I did, and then I went shopping as well, like alone, and it felt so good, like, I was so proud of myself, and I am to, like, I am to this day, basically, like, so proud of it that I, and I went and yeah so that's what's up and I have less anxiety attacks as well which I'm happy about as well and hopefully nothing will ever happen to me so that's what's up with my anxiety now let's talk about the bipolar disorder so I have these kind of episodes of it like twice a year maybe once a year sometimes when nothing like something when someone hurt me or like you know screams at me, I don't like when someone screams at me. It just kind of I don't really like loud noises, and whenever I hear like loud noises or whatever, I I get really like I get attacks, I get frustrated, I get angry, and then I'm just kind of I have sometimes I have maniac episodes, which is really bad, and I just really get aggressive. But it didn't happen for such a long time. Well, three months, <laughs> but, but yeah, um, but still, like, I, I'm clean basically for three months, so I'm proud of it, and yeah, so, um, I've just been feeling more, like, better basically, and I've just been, like, more pos positive as well, and I just didn't really have these kind of episodes of it for a time, so, yeah. And I can to show you that I won't have it anymore, but I know how to control it, um, I guess. And I know that I'm like focusing on positive things, like everything's okay, just chill and just take a deep breath and you'll be good now. Me. 
and I'm practicing yoga and meditation and that really really helps so now I'm to the intake disorder which is more kind of worse thing that I can't freaking control it because it comes and it goes and it comes and it goes and I have like five mirrors in my, my room and it just it's just really hard when you know like everyone just tells you that you should that you're thin but your but your mirror screams you're thick and um yeah I'm like the person which who picks some body parts and decided to hate it, not love it. And you should just pick things that you should love. But I don't do it. I just don't do it. And then I just kind of get this frustrated and I stop eating and I don't know. If you if you have this freaking hell then you know what I'm talking about. But it's really hard for me, um, especially now. But I, I eat and I just really get, I just get bloated and then I just get really insecure about my body which I know that I, everyone's been telling me that you have a beautiful body, I'm working out so yeah but like it doesn't mean like okay I just say, I, I just, I love to put some stories of me working out to Instagram or like you know like after work that people work out to show my figure or like pose like whatever and I and I love to show it, but inside that mean I don't know, I just feel, I don't like how my body looks, but I decided that I'm okay with it, and I'm just learning to be just okay with it. And bloating isn't really like normal, like everybody bloats. So I have to just kind of remember that everybody bloats, and that's completely normal. I'm not really fine with the eating disorder, but I'm finding, I'm fine with other stuff, and I'm hoping for better things for me basically and I know that everything is truly is fine and I have this kind of humoristic side of me that whenever I'm like I want to be sad I was, I'm like haha you're sad and it's <laughs> I don't know I just get really like frustrated about it that much that I just literally laugh for myself like why are we crying like what the heck bitch don't cry you know everything's actually fine it's like that meme like when everything is on fire and that kind of thing like tells like it's fine <laughs> like everything is like burning but it's it's fine it's just really like it's fine so yeah i don't know so that's what's been up with me you just really have to find things that you know like kind of helps you or basically what you love basically doing i love talking to the camera i love doing vlogs i love editing i love posting not that much because I'm, i get really like shy like <gasps> will anyone watch this video <laughs> like for example this one probably not but i really care um people who you know like watch this video and really care like thank you you know like it just means so much to me that you care and yeah anyway i'm gonna say bye and next video will be um uh, soft one and I just I will genuinely like film so many videos because it's summer and coming and I have like three days off from school then I I got this part-time job which is exciting because I truly want to work finally <laughs> so I'm a warrior I have to work yeah that was cringy anyway I love you guys so so much and let me know your state how how you've been how are you what's good to you know um, that was really cringy anyway. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I don't know how to talk to you. I don't know how to ask you if you're okay. My friends always feel the need to tell me things. Seems like they're just happier than us these days. These days I don't know how to talk to you.